the city of Padodra is on the edge of flood once again. More than 200 people have been shifted from low-rising areas to safer place. Now, this is not the first time that Padodra is standing on the edge of flood. This is something that has been happening for more than 150 years now. Sayajira of Gaikwad, the then king of Padodra city, designed Ajwa and Pratapura Sarovar along with several other interlinking lakes and canals that were made particularly to make sure that the rainwater exists from the city properly. Now that we are once, once again over here standing on the edge of flood, uh, several people every year complain about the floods and do nothing. Uh, a team of Centre for Culture and Development did a case study, an integrated urban flood management high-tech solution based on Vadodra as a case study of uh, the Vadodra floods that happened in 2019. This team has worked day and night to find out the reasons that happen, uh, find out the reasons that cause floods in Vadodara every year and apart from it, how can these floods be prevented? I have been joined by Kushang Shah, who has done a special research and study on interlinking lakes and canals in Vadodara city. Now, uh, he has also done, uh, he's an environmental hydraulics researcher and over the next few minutes. On this episode of the Fact Flashers Real Talk, we'll be talking about the reasons why Vadodara city stands on the edge of flood every year and what are the ways in which it can be prevented. Kushang, my very first question is that in the year 2019 when you did this research, what were the major points that came out? What were the major uh, faults in the existing interlinking of lakes that came out? When I have started my research work, I have started in the year of 2016-17 as a part of my dissertation academic purpose and uh, my guide Dr. S.D. Shah suggests me to go with the solutions not as a reason of flooding or reason of water logging. She suggests me to go with the solution work. So I have started working on the what could be the solution for flood control and what could be the solution of storm water management that we are currently facing off. Whenever we are planning any of the city, we are always talk about development of the town planning and management of the town. We haven't uh, recognized the basic criteria that we need to focus on that are nothing but the flood control and stormwater management system. Right. Now, when we talk about the stormwater management system as a part of the urban management, we always need to go with the advanced hydraulic structures as a part of the urban stormwater management system. My study was completely based on the study of the urban lakes, that phenomenon when we face the conservation plan or when we uh, try to uh, control the flood. Okay. So, as a part of the lake, when we talk about the lakes, they are serving two basic purposes. One is to store the water so that we can utilize for the different purpose, and another is to control the flood when we come to the town, uh, when we come to the plan of the any of the city. So, what what I have done, I have done the interlinking of the major 21 lakes of the Vadodara city. When we talk about the waste part, starting from the Sama Lake, uh, I have interlinked Sama Lake to. Uh, Gorwa, Gorwa to Gotri, Gotri to Sayyad Vasna, Sayyad Vasna to Atlagra and ultimately the flow is diverted into the downstream of the Viswamitri river. Right. Okay. And when we talk about the east part, it, it consists with the 15 lakes. Hmm. When we st uh, it start about the Hani lake, two Hani lakes are interlinked with the Varasya lake, hmm. Varasya to Sarasya, Sarasya to Sursagar, Sursagar to Mahadev, Mahadev to Siddhanath, Siddhanath to Kasi Vishwanath. Kasi Vishwanath to Masya, Masya to Makarpura and ultimately it will be guided toward the downstream side. Right. Again, uh, from the uh, Sarasya and uh, Varasya, uh, the flow is diverted into the Bapod Lake as well as Dan Danteshwar, uh, Ajab, Lake, Ajab Lake to Danteshwar, Danteshwar to Tarsali and it will be again guided towards the Jambua River to the Viswamitri River. Right. And the remaining part of the Bapod Lake uh, flow will be uh, diverted from the Bapod Lake to the Ruparel Kas. Again, we talk about the cars, that is nothing but the natural drainage actually. Mm -hmm. huh? uh, previously, it will be, uh, it was very organized by the natural manner, but at certain reason of the development, it can be totally, it is totally encroached mm -hmm. nowadays. Mm -hmm. So, we are not blaming the government and we are not blaming the individuals, but as a part, when we focus on the control system and water lock system, we always try to manage our natural resources first. Okay. So, our basic study should be focusing on the uh, criteria of the management of the natural resources that we already have actually. Now, uh, currently, when every year Badodra is on the edge of flood, 
we are talking about interlinking of lakes we are sure that the current interlinking or planning done is inefficient because if it was efficient enough we could have overcome the situation easily now how can this particular planning uh, be you know this uh, interlinking of lakes be planned in an efficient way as we already know viswamitri river is flowing so centrally through the city okay and when whatever amount of flood we are observing in the viswamitri it's just because of narrowing of the viswamitri right. day by day we are just narrowing our river system okay so whatever outlets we are giving from the lakes and other sources they are directly diverted into the river right. that is flowing obviously in the centrally of the uh, city so we are directly discharging our outlets uh, discharging our flow into the rivers and again it is flowing through the centrally mm -hmm. so that obviously it can create the overtopping and most of the in past scenario we have observed the overtopping of the viswamitri river so when we plan about the outlets of the natural resources we should interlinking first once we interlink them then we can allow to discharge throughout the downstream at the place when we have the sufficient area to now uh, why is this particular thing not being looked upon and who do you think is responsible for this i can uh, i can say that proper planning and management was not done previously who do you think is responsible maybe the uh, government holders those who are planning the city those who are managing the city they should focus on the research that can be done by the various researchers in terms of hydraulic systems or river water resources system now kushan do researchers approach the government like you are a researcher do you approach the government and tell them that uh, no i have i have started with the academic purpose mm -hmm. then i have tried to publish papers almost i am con uh, i am consuming most of the five research papers on the uh, river lake interlinking system and other water resources system as a part of the research i always try to represent mm -hmm. myself as a researcher with the various solution techniques to uh, accommodate the for flood control management and storm water management system because storm water management we requires when we come when we talk about the water logging so i try to represent that research but it was not observed by the authorities now that we are into the situation what do you think is the next best solution to this see uh, when we uh, talk about the amdabad city uh, sabarmati river is flowing uh, through the city but it is uh, completely planned with the concrete structure mm. that we cannot apply over here right. because we having the narrow space mm. and most of the cars or no most of the natural resources has been destroyed completely due to the encroachment and so many reason behind that political reason behind it and not to be more focus about that i am as a part of the research i always talk about we cannot go with the concrete structure right. so what kind of solution we have mm. when we talk about the hydraulics we should interlink the our water bodies right. first once we interlink the water bodies then if we talk about the river we should go with the natural development scheme mm. there are most developed technique is nowadays are called as a lids mm. low impact developments as a low impact developments one of the none of the solutions are focusing on the concrete structure it is totally based on the uh, management of the rocks and boulders and we are just managing we are just uh, advancing our Uh, width of the river stream and then we try to flow when we then we try to analyze the flow throughout that stream right. so that could be the possible solution that we can have With this in the normal that you need to know, make sure that you always